Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. Today, I'm going to be doing an interlude, because there's an interlude campaign currently going on. Funny enough, as I'm doing this, uh, it actually as it hasn't actually started, I'm on the day it was announced, so I don't get the benefit of not having this cost 11, but I literally have no nothing else to do with my stamina. So I'm just going to go in and do it for the sake of the video. But that's going to be today's video because, you know, there's a bunch of interludes going on. I saved them specifically for when this day comes. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. Tell me how you're doing on the interlude stuff. We are basically one week away from Kama. This is the, basically the final push, the final time for it. Um, so I'm also fine. I'm glad to be doing these interludes because that's just a little bit more quartz my way. And I'm always grateful for that. And I forget that I can just basically have anything here. So I can just... Alright, one moment as I fix my team. Okay, let's start. Now there is going to be a lot of talking in this, so forgive me. Nightmare or the call of the love and the hate. <clears throat> I can't see anything. Black, dark, lightless, there's only a sinking sensation, like I'd fall into somewhere very, very deep. Was there nothing there to see? I don't know. I can't even tell whether my eyes are open. Where am I? I don't know. Am I standing or sitting? I try to speak. My lips don't move. My tongue doesn't move. No sound comes from my throat. Ah, <sighs> am I in a bad situation? My body does feel heavy. Looks like you have fallen deep. But yes, it's probably why it was you of all people. Welcome, Wookie. Welcome to the deep place where all sorts of carcasses fall, sink, and remain. Hmm. <laughs> What's with that look? Those lost puppy eyes are a waste of time with me. Of course, time is meaningless, at least in a place like this. Are you by chance? Do you know me? No, it can't be. You know nothing. Don't you get it, Master? Wokey? I have come from a place far beyond love and hatred, and so I am somewhat different from the version of me you know. All right, they'll be here soon. You must leave this place. I am the one who shall burn away the remnants of darkness festering here. My flame shall scorch yourself and soul, and I cannot guarantee your safety. Forgive me. You do not belong in a place like this. I don't know what's going on, but I can't leave you alone. I see. Then keep up and mind the flames. Oh. This is the most action that Adventure Loot has ever gotten into. Alright, time to beat ass. Ghosts! Easy! Easy! Get ready for this. Y'all ready for this? Oh, we are ready. Yuck, 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 yuck! I love Dante so much. And yeah, he's so cool. He's <laughs> Every once in a while, like character built on extreme edge comes out, and I like Dante the most out of all of them. I think it's because he does have kind of like a very jolly nature. He is somehow both the embodiment of pure evil and also seems to be having a pretty good time with everything going on. Constantly going yuck, 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 yuck. Okay, let's see. I think I got this. Oops, I forgot to put on a different craft um mystic code. That's oh. fine. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Come on, you should be able to beat this soul leader in one hit. If not, that's gonna really mess up my rotation. He's not gonna be able to do it. No, he is, he is. Watch him go. Watch him flip. <laughs> He's just so happy about everything. <laughs> Hello, ghost. Get ready to get completely washed. One shot. 
the AoE isn't gonna go. But uh, the one quick card that Dantes has is totally gonna get him. Tamai. Thank you. And of course it, it still went to the wrong person, of course. That's fine. Wow, I almost did actually get him with the AoE. He's a strong ass character for sure. Strong five star. Alright, back to the story at hand. Damn it, I should have put on the. Oh, never mind, that's fine. Back to the story. I'll do it F before the next one. What are you doing here, Berserker? I'll ask you the same question. What are you doing in Master's room? It is the middle of the night. Sleep is necessary to maintain the health of a human body. I advise you to return to your own room to rest, Mr. Edmund Dantes. I am a servant. You are as well. Yes. Speaking of Master, our conversation will interrupt her sleep cycle. I forgot to say, my character is a female in this one. She is Kuda, not Kudoko. Though, she may be sleeping peacefully right now. Peacefully? Is that right? Something the matter, sir? No, as long as she is sleeping, that's fine. I was worried some residual effect might remain in her consciousness. No, it's nothing. Forget about it. Mr. Dantes, may I ask a question? If you must. It's been bothering me for a while, but it seems an emergency operation will be necessary. I must take action before it is too late. I leave it to me. I shall pursue the most effective treatment for the injured area. Master is not injured. Are you pointing out that I hear peaceful breathing? As you pointed out, I hear peaceful breathing. No. Wrong, sir. I'm talking about you. Your mental state is injured. If it is a surgical removal of the affected area you require, leave it to me. What? Mercedes, I know your wicked ways, but to go that far seems excessive, even to you. Just like that. That statement. You may not realize it, but that outburst suggests that you're mistaking me for someone else. Swiss. Swift, decisive action must be taken. Yes, you have uttered troubling nonsense about the sleeping master. Wait. No measures will be taken. No, measures will be taken. Don't you dare come on. <laughs> she, cocked, she cocked her gun. I, I laughed at the cocking of the gun. Don't you dare come at me with a scalpel in one hand and a gun in the other. At least hold a scalpel in your dominant hand. No, that's not what I meant to say. Why are you watching Master sleep anyway? You must have sensed some sort of abnormality. I don't know if it's instinct or if you sense something in her magical energy, but you are correct. You've read the situation right. Master is in contact with many servants, so how did this happen to her mental state? Stop talking nonsense. Mercedes. Like I said, my name is not Mercedes. You are suffering from an affliction of the mind. It appears that you do not see me as a servant. You call me Berserker, yet call me Mercedes. I am not her. I am not the woman who you call by that name. Of course not. Your spirit origin doesn't have the memories of those seven days. Yet, whenever I hear that name, strangely, it makes me long for something far away, something that I no longer possess. However, as I am not... However, as I am not, I am still not this Mercedes. That's what was screwing me up. I was like, however, as I am still not this Mercedes, there is something, there is nothing for it to be to take the op. What? However, as I am still not Mercedes, there's nothing for it to be take, nothing for it but to take the appropriate measures. Thus, I shall disinfect that mental state of yours. Hmm. Oh, he has fled. Unbelievable. Next time I see him, I must be sure to tend to him. Mm. 
Mm. That's it for part one. I guess I'll do a part two right after this one. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.